Welcome to Friday Night Highlights, brought to you by Moody's Tire and Auto. Visit us at Moody's Tire for all your tire and automotive needs. Stop by and see us at 1600 Columbia Avenue. Centennial's Tyrell Dotson shined late for the Cougars. The senior scored the go-ahead TD late in the fourth and Centennial edged south win 2014. It was incredible. We, we challenged him at the end. I mean, you know, when the, when the game's on the line, your best guy's got to get the ball or you got to rely on your best guys to do what they did. So we obviously ran it with him and we ran it right behind Nathan Wilkinson and Eli Katina. Um, I don't know how many times in a row it was, but it was several. And uh, they, were able to, they were able to see the gaps make the blocks, and he got a lot of yards after carry, and that's, that's what you do when you're an SEC football player. I got in there and you know, tried to lead my team. Everyone was down because we were down. I was like, guys, let's go. Um, we were a great team, and great teams don't get down when they're down. We get back up and we respond to this, and, that, and we respond to well. The two teams entered with a combined three losses. Cameron Williams pushed the visitors in front 14-12 with this diving TD with six minutes left. Southwind is a very good football team, especially on defense. You know, I'm very impressed with their athleticism, their ability to guard the pass, their ability to fit the gaps in the run game. They did a really good job. Neither team could find any rhythm through the first three quarters. The Jaguars and Cougars both stalled offensively. Dotson finished with 11 carries for 77 yards and three TDs, while Mondu Sawyer's rushed for another 50 yards for Centennial. It, I think it's important in any sport to kind of get in a rhythm, a flow. A baseball pitcher, a basketball team, a football team. We need a rhythm, we need a flow, there's no doubt. And we hurt ourselves a ton. So we, we definitely affected our own flow. There was other things that affected it as well, and we just had to overcome that too. And, and I'm, again, I'm just really proud of our kids for overcoming all that adversity. After Williams had spotted Southwind a two-point lead with his diving TD run, Dotson ignited an 80-yard game-winning Centennial drive with his 44-yard run. I was Nick Bell, um, our, one of my best friends. He played left tackle, and he was like, cut it right off of me. And I cut it right off of him and busted for a 44-yard run. I trust my teammates and what they say, I do. Centennial's defense came through one final time with less than three minutes to play, stopping Williams on fourth and seven. Centennial will face county rival Brentwood in the second round. 